what up miners uh just making a quick follow-up video to this video since a lot of you are having issues with memory temperatures um <laughs> i see one of you is getting 108 celsius which is quite bad um in my opinion you don't really want anything over 90 so th this video will be about how to get it to a reasonable temperature um, which I would say, you know, like 85, you should be able to get by doing this. So you're going to want to replace your thermal pads um, with something under minus 12 watts per MK, whatever that means. So you'll want to replace your thermal pads with something like these. Um, the inside thermal pads are one millimeter and the outside on the back plate, I believe, are three. Um, I'd do a tear down myself, but I've opened it so many times that I've uh, stripped so many <laughs> screws that I just don't want to risk it. Um, as you can see, I have these heat sinks on here, which will reduce your memory temps by about two degrees Celsius. Um, but yeah, I can't open it up again. I wish I could, but I don't want to risk it. So you're going to want to follow this video. Um, I'll post it a link in the description, but basically you just remove all these screws. You can skip these for now. Um, I think there's about 17 screws. You remove them. You just take off the back plate by peeling it, pretty much. Um, very easy. There's no like cables or anything on the back plate. Um, and as you can see, there are the thermal pads you want to replace on the back plate. I believe they're 2.5 or 3 millimeter. Um, either or, I think, could work, but probably be better, better to be safe with three. Um, just replace these. You can replace these as well. Um, I'm sure they're crap, but these are the ones that are on the memory. The memory modules are here, 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 and there's one here. Um, in terms of the inside plate, where is... Okay. Yeah, so you just remove these. They're push screws. They're kind of fidgety, but once you unscrew them all, it should just pop out like that. And then... You're going to want to take these off. Um, this is very important because you don't want to rip the uh, the wires out of their housing. That would be, you'd break your fan and you'd have to probably order a replacement fan, which will be a huge hassle. Um, and don't pull by the wires. Never pull by the wires. You can pull by these little tabs, like what he's doing with his fingernails there. Because if you pull by the wires, you're probably going to pull them out. Um, you don't need to unplug the other ones because you can just open it from the other side as I think he's doing. Yeah, see, these are longer and you can just open it up just like that. And these are the one millimeter pads on the inside. Um, so you replace all these, all four here, all four here, then one here and one here. Um, so what you do is you get these pads, right? They look like this. It's just a square. And what you do is you press them down on the memory, and it'll make an imprint on that square. Like, you'll see four little notches, and you just cut it perfectly to size and slap it right on there, and it'll be a perfect fit. Um, you can see there's these other ones here. I'm sure these are all crap. I think this one is like 2 watts per MK. Um, but the heat on these modules isn't that important. So you just want to worry about the memory temperatures. And um, yeah, so that's all you have to do. Then you follow the steps in reverse. Um, oh yeah, and you probably should uh, reapply thermal paste here, um, just like a teardrop. Every time you open the card, it's just a good thing to do. Um, wipe it off with isopropyl alcohol and a, a microfiber cloth and you should be good to go. Make sure you use non-conductive. I think everything is non-conductive these days. And once you have it all back together, um, you can check your hardware info, the latest version. Scroll way down, 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 down to 3080. As you can see, my memory junction temperature is actually 72 right now. Um, normally it's around 84, but I have my um, memory not that high overclocked because I am recording this video right now. So I'm getting, <laughs> yeah, 63 because I'm recording my screen. But 
Um, normally it's around 84, 85 with uh, new thermal pads. I use these ones um, in different thicknesses. Um, thermal Grizzlies are good too. Uh, just whatever's in stock. Minus eight. Um, minus eight should be enough actually, but I I prefer minus twelve. But like if this is all that's in stock in the right size, um, I actually had to go through eBay I think to get the right thickness because um, this looks like they only have the one. Um, and I mean, you can always stack them, but that'll be expensive. Like you could stack two 1.5s to get three with the back plate, but I don't know. And then heat sinks, you can just look for a variety pack. This isn't necessary. This only gets you like an extra two degrees. Um, let's see a pack. Yeah, I think this is the pack that I got. I mean, it's 10 bucks for two degrees. It'll add to the longevity of, of, your, uh, of your card, so might as well if you want to and yeah profits are incredible right now um for just 1380 you're getting, you're seeing like 1250 a day which is insane so it is very important to have good memory temperatures um you do not want to be seeing uh 108 or really anything over 90 um 95 might be okay but like if you're seeing this that is not good and um yeah, so hopefully this video has been helpful, and you have a good day. See ya.